Hi, welcome to Dave's Vintage Stuff, which is my YouTube channel. Recently, um, I just recently put um, my YouTube channel online where I highlight uh, you know, some of my vintage stuff. And I mean, we got, this is just one of my rooms down here, um, but we have just huge amounts of vintage stuff. Um, some of which I sell on eBay and obviously uh, some of which I keep as evidenced uh, by the video here. But anyway, today I wanted to uh, do a video on um, my, uh, my record player. Um, a lot of people call these a Victrola. Um, you know, Victrola was uh, RCA company's uh, designation for uh, a, um, a phonograph such as this. Um, but this one here is actually a uh, Nightingale. Um, it's actually a family heirloom, so it is not for sale um, by any means. Um, this will go with me until the end. Um, it's a very, very nice piece of furniture, um, and it works great. Um, during my move up here to Mount Shasta, I got a couple of scratches on it, which really pissed me off, but what can you do? That's the way things go um, when you move. But as you can see, it's got a nice case to it. Um, down below here, um, you have your record storage. Um, and I actually have um, spare needles for it in here and uh, when my stepson was young him and his buddies were always amazed at this thing um, because you don't plug it into the wall doesn't have any electricity and uh, for young guys that was uh, quite interesting because everything they're used to is digital and plug it into the wall and what have you so anyway so you know, this is kind of like the speaker um, cover here and it is in good shape pretty ornate uh, um, with the design here when they actually made stuff properly um, and here's the crank here anyway so uh, the lid opens up like this and, uh, and then locks into place and as I mentioned it's a nightingale um, Nightingale, it's made by the H.B. Wolper and Company out of Chicago, USA. And, um, and this is it. Um, so, we start by giving it a few cranks to get it going. And then let me grab myself a record here. And we'll put that on there. And this looks like Bell Polka by Bill Gale and his music makers. So anyway, records in place. Um, this switch here changes um, the speed. And this is how you turn it on. And so now you got it spinning. And... Uh, so then you take the arm here, and uh, this is this is what makes the sound through this arm, and uh, not exactly high definition stereo by any means, um, but this was uh, quite a thing to have back in the day, and. Uh, People would sit around with this in their living room and, and listen to music. And uh, so that's what you have. But anyway, this is my Nightingale phonograph. It is not a Victrola. Victrola was RCA's designation, but very similar. Um, super nice piece of furniture. Down here in my man cave, downstairs. Anyway, pull this off here like this. And then shut it off. You can hear the brakes hit. And there you go. That's my Nightingale uh, phonograph. 
um, here on Dave's Vintage Stuff YouTube site. Um, if you like my videos, would you uh, please hit the like button and also subscribe. I'm trying to get my viewership up, so the analytics um, help me out a little bit. So again, if you'd like and subscribe, um, that would help me out immensely. And uh, like always, I appreciate the watching. Thanks.